Hey everybody, Cybermark here. There was a comment on my PowerShell hashing video um, to show how it's done in Linux. So I'm going to show you just how simple it is. We're going to use the same approach. So the first thing I'm going to do is create the files themselves. So I'm going to echo a string value and redirect that output to file one. Now in Linux, we don't need file extensions, so I'm simply going to call it file one. I use the up arrow to recall my last command, and now I'm going to redirect the output of string two into file two. Wonderful. So if I list out my hash directory, I have two files. If I cat out those files, you can see that what I used here was a wildcard and it says cat out anything that begins with file and so it catted out both file 1 and file 2 in that order and so you can see that there's a string and string 2 alright so now we're going to hash those and we're going to run the command line utility SHA-256 sum so that gives us a SHA-256 summary uh, on whatever file we give it. So we could use the same wildcard that we did to cat out the files to get a SHA-256 sum on each file. And there you have it. File 1 has a SHA-256 hash ending in 4charlie77 and file 2 has one that's ending in 36echo9. Alright, I hope you found that useful. Um, you can build this into scripts if you need to check your file hashes uh, to make sure that nothing changed uh, and this really solidifies the concept of integrity when it comes to cybersecurity. Make sure your files are not altered. There you have it. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe, leave some comments below and thanks for watching. Bye.